Okay. As we follow the Planck's quantum theory, here we were getting some of the new ideas. That means uh, in 1900, uh, the scientist Maxwell, Maxwell Planck, Maxwell Planck can explain this one theory. That means they can be explained the black body radiation and the photoelectric effect, everything. It is extended by Einstein. Einstein extended this one, this concept in 1905. Finally, we get a quantum theory. Okay, two scientists were there. First one, Max Planck and also Einstein also involved there. First of all, he told that the particles are emitted, otherwise the energy emitted, not continuously, but discontinuously as in the form of packets of energy. Okay, as in the form of packets of energy. Listen very well. Energy can emitted. Energy can emitted. Energy can emitted discontinuously. Discontinuously as in the form of packets of energy that packets of energy is called as photon otherwise it is called as quanta energy can emitted from a source energy emitted accordance with the wave theory energy can be emitted continuously but it can be changed that by considering the black body radiation and photoelectric effect Okay, Max Planck explained that energy can emitted discontinuously, not continuously, as in the form of discrete packets of energy, means small, small packets of energy. One thrown, next thrown, third, fourth, gone like that. Not a continuous movement, one by one will be thrown there. That is called as Planck's quantum theory, first to put it. Then second one energy of each quantum is directly proportional to frequency energy of each packets energy of each packets otherwise each photon or each quantum is directly proportional to the frequency okay therefore e directly proportional to frequency then we are able to say that e is equal to h nu h is a new term introduced by planck's therefore it is called as Planck's constant. It is the Planck's constant. Then Planck's constant H value 6.626 into 10 power minus 34 joule second. 6.626 into 10 power minus 34 joule second. This value important. Keep in your mind. First of all, he told that energy can emitted as in uh, discontinuously as in the form of small packets of energy. Each for each conda has energy that energy directly proportional to their frequency. Therefore, E is equal to H nu, H is a Planck's constant. Then next one, total amount of energy, total amount of energy emitted or absorbed by a body will be some whole number of quanta. What is the meaning of that? Listen here. Total amount of energy emitted or absorbed by a body. One by one, they, uh, they absorbed maybe more quantity, more quantity. Total amount of energy emitted or absorbed by a body will be some whole number of quanta. That means E is equal to ET. That means total energy equal to NH nu. N is an integer. N value equal to 1, 2, 3, go on like that. Okay. Total amount of energy absorbed or emitted by a body will be the sum whole number of quanta that is equal to E is equal to H nu. 
This is the Planck's quantum theory. Three concepts are there. Again, I am revising that. That much important. Planck's quantum. Max Planck's in 1900 explained this theory. Then it can be considered that two concepts, black body radiation and photoelectric effect. Don't forget that. Here, first postulate. Energy can be emitted from a source discontinuously as in the form of discrete packets of energy that is called as that is small packet is called as photon or quanta. Second one energy of emitted energy energy of emitted rays is directly proportional to frequency. Therefore E is equal to H nu H is a Planck's constant. Third one total amount of energy released or absorbed by a body is the sum of the whole number of quanta that means e is equal to nh nu these three are the main postulates of uh, planck's quantum theory then planck's can explain again this one black body radiation how it can be explained black body radiation black body radiation explanation given by planck's quantum means uh, Quantum theory. Accordance with the quantum theory, we are able to verify the uh, black body radiation. For that, he chosen a solid substance. Solid substance. If, if we apply the temperature to a solid substance, on that time, atoms are set into oscillation. Atoms are ready to oscillation and they were emitted. Some of the frequencies are there radiation emitted radiation that having frequency listen very well uh, then here one object taken one solid taken applying temperature on that time inside the particles are located that particles are ready to rotate or oscillate due to this temperature they are ready to uh, oscillate then due to that oscillation they were emitted some of the radiation that radiation have their own suitable frequencies also. Now, we continue the heating. When we increase the temperature, on that time, more and more uh, radiations are emitted with different frequency. Maybe first time frequency may be 10 heads only. But second time, same system only. I were chosen only, only one solid. From here, first time with the low temperature, they were emitted the radiation with the low frequency. With the high temperature, they were emitted the uh, radiation with the high frequency. One example, we know that red has maximum wavelength. If they have a maximum wavelength, sure, they have a minimum frequency. Red has a minimum frequency. Then next, yellow has a minimum wavelength but maximum frequency when i heat a body when i apply the temperature to a body which color will be appeared first no doubt the red color will be appeared first why minimum frequency if we apply the temperature on that time the minimum frequency radiations are emitted first then next to maximum frequency radiation. Therefore, a body can be heated on that time. Red color we are able to see first. Last we are able to see the yellow in color. Reason, yellow color has a maximum frequency, minimum wavelength. Red color has a minimum frequency, maximum wavelength. The color depends upon the frequency of that ray. Clear all of you? Then this is the concept for black body radiation. Similarly, we have... Second, we want to explain explanation for photoelectric effect. This photoelectric effect we are going to explain by the use of which one we want to know uh, with the uh, quantum theory. Here we know that minimum energy required, minimum energy required to eject an electron is called as threshold energy. That threshold energy E not equal to H nu naught. H nu naught is a work function that also we know. But if you apply more and more temperature, on that time, we need the temperature above nu naught. Here we required the temperature more than this value. We required more than this value. 
then the above this temperature above this energy above threshold frequency energy converted to kinetic energy just how much required to start ejection that is a threshold frequency if you apply extra energy there that energy will be converted to kinetic energy that means electron will start motion on that time that electron acquire kinetic energy therefore we are able to say that here h nu minus h nu zero that is is equal to kinetic energy h nu minus h nu zero equal to kinetic energy h nu means final energy h nu naught means threshold energy therefore what is the difference that difference will be converted to kinetic energy we know that to calculate and to calculate kinetic energy we have one equation half mv square one equation we have therefore here h nu minus h nu zero is equal to half mv square let us compare equation number one and two on that time we get this equation h nu minus h nu zero is equal to half mv square therefore h nu equal to h nu zero plus half mv square we know that h nu zero is equal to what it is a work function plus half mv square therefore h nu is equal to work function plus half mv square one condition if frequency of frequency of incident light is higher kinetic energy of electron also increased frequency of incident light is higher kinetic energy also increased one more condition if if uh, intensity of incident light intensity of incident light increases therefore number of electron electron increases does not increase it does not affect does not affect the kinetic energy listen here photoelectric effect means uh, the electrons ejected from a surface by the use of a sunlight or photons okay that is the photoelectric effect there uh, the to eject the electron all ele to eject electron the incident light required a minimum energy that is a threshold frequency or threshold energy h nu zero we were taken there threshold frequency is equal to nu zero we want to take in there okay then if you apply the energy more than that threshold energy that energy will be converted to kinetic energy and that energy acquired by electron electron will start motion energy acquired by the electron they will start motion okay therefore the kinetic energy extra energy above the uh, threshold energy converted to kinetic energy that we were calculating h nu is equal to then work function plus half mv square the conditions are very very important this two point then first i told if free uh, if the frequency of incident light is maximum then the kinetic energy of electron also maximum means electron will fast very very fastly electron will move very fastly if the intensity intensity of incident light is maximum on that time kinetic energy does not be affected only the number of electron ejection will be increases electron number increased but the kinetic energy does not be affected there clear all of you now we are able to say that all particle have all particle in our our world have two nature wave nature as well as particle nature then simply the particle nature generally explained by planck's quantum theory okay electromagnetic wave theory explained by what property wave nature okay the particle has in our world all particle has uh, all all the content all the matters have wave nature as well as particle nature to explain the wave nature we want to know only diffraction and interference properties but to explain this uh, particle nature black body radiation required photoelectric effect required line spectrum required keep in your mind now we want to do one numerical related with this area listen here find 
we need kinetic energy okay kinetic energy find kinetic energy of <coughs> find kinetic energy of electron kinetic energy of electron ejected when yellow light yellow light are ejected of frequency of frequency 5.2 into 10 power 14 second inverse fall on the surface of potassium metal potassium metal threshold frequency of potassium equal to 5 into 10 power 14 second inverse listen here yellow light frequency 5.2 fall on the surface of the potassium metal threshold frequency also given there okay uh, we want to calculate what kinetic energy kinetic energy is equal to what kinetic energy is equal to half mv square that is equal to h nu minus h nu zero that is equal to h into nu minus nu zero are there then directly you can calculate h value what 6.0 h value 6.626 multiplied by what is new new value there that means 5.2 into 10 power 14 minus 5 into 10 power 14 second inverse then what is the value there that is equal to 6.626 multiplied by here multiplied by 10 power minus 34 10 power minus 34 multiplied by 0 0.2 remains there multiplied by 10 power term constant therefore taken outside 10 power 14 that is equal to what 1.325 multiplied by 10 power minus 20 joule it is the kinetic energy of that ejected electron symbol look here kinetic energy of electron ejected when yellow light yellow light are there there of frequency fall on the surface means yellow light yellow light incident on the met, uh, potassium surface on that time electrons are ejected then what is the free, uh, kinetic energy of that electron there they given is simply they given that two values threshold frequency also given there and also ordinary frequency also given there h into nu minus nu zero we are able to get the final answer there clear all of you okay next in next section we want to go on along with the spectroscopy that means the line spectrum what how it will be arised now we are able to understand that line spectrum will be produced due to from a part from a system from a uh, matter number of rays are emitted by looking the wavelength we were arranged as spectra otherwise we were arranged regularly arranged that is called as spectrum okay mm -hmm.